Hey guys, happy Monday. So I just got home from work. <clears throat> I didn't vlog this morning. Sorry, I was kind of in a rush. I was almost late for work this morning, but um, I just got home. It was a pretty short shift today. It's so nice outside right now. I just have a tank top on and I'm just having some lunch. I have some honey Greek yogurt, granola, and a pear all chopped up. Husband's downstairs getting ready to go to work if you can hear all that. He calls it music, I call it noise. It's happening downstairs. Just went and got dog food for Crosby and I'm going to edit last week's vlog which I started doing last night. But I think there's some footage missing from last week that I'm 100% sure I filmed but can't seem to find anywhere. So we gotta figure that out and I'm just gonna do some like spring cleaning because it's so nice outside. So that's the plan for today. Hey guys, so I um, am going over to my friend's house. I was gonna clean the bedroom upstairs, but I've decided I'm gonna go to my friend's house and have a beer instead, sit on her front porch and hang out with the kids because it's March break this week, so they're home. Um, does anybody else have like an at-home sweater that they always throw on? This is like, I always have this sweater on when I'm at home, so I feel like it's the only thing that you guys actually see me wear. But it's because when I come home from work, I just toss this sweater on and then I'm good to go. It gets washed like twice a week whenever I do laundry pretty much. So, gonna throw my jacket on. I probably should walk over because she just lives like three blocks away, but I think I'm gonna drive because it's been like on and off raining all day and I don't wanna get soaking wet. So, I got my beer and I'm heading over. It's like five o'clock on a Monday. This is the life you lead when you don't really work very often. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to go back to work. Standing alongside the road with Dawn. Hey guys, so I just got home from the massage. I feel amazing. But I've got like wand on my face and I have a new client coming over. I've never met her before. She's like a friend of another client, so Ooh, duck. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Spider? Better not be in my makeup bag. You got it! You got the spider! Good job! Good boy! Good boys! No, you got it. Okay, come on. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Um, sorry I didn't vlog much yesterday. Ooh, I need to make my bed. Is I got some kind of disappointing news. Actually, I don't want to say it's like disappointing, but I'm just going to throw this sweater on. Um, so you guys know I had my ultrasound last week and it does take a week to get the results back. So my family doctor called me yesterday, my family doctor's office, which I thought was kind of weird because it was, um, like the specialist had ordered the appointment. So when they called, the nurse told me that like the specialist will call and talk to me about, um, like my, what they saw for my gallbladder and pancreas and all that stuff, but they did find a cyst on my right ovary, which I know I shouldn't really forget about too much because um, I've had a cyst before and it is pretty normal and a lot of women experience, it's gonna get dark, actually turned off downstairs. Um, a lot of people do, or women do experience um, ovarian cysts in their lives and they don't even know that they have them. Um, until it like either they miss their period or it ruptures or whatever but um as you guys know if you've been around for a while and you've watched any of my old videos um cancer does run in my family so my great-grandmother died from cancer my grandma had cancer my mom had cancer so it's just kind of scary plus naturally this was the year that eric and i decided we were going to kind of expand our family if the 
possibility was there. Uh, we got married in 2014, bought a house in 2015, so 2016 was going to be the year that we were going to try and have a baby, and this could definitely kind of deter that. So I am a very what if kind of person, which I try and work on that, but when I get really bad news like this, it's hard for me not to be. So I just kind of spent the day with Eric yesterday, just like, what if this happens, or what if that happens, or what if this is going to happen? And Thankfully, he's a very good man and he knows me very well and he just kind of like reassured me and calmed me down and talked to me. So that's why I didn't vlog very much yesterday. My apologies. I've been trying to leave Motley out every once in a while out of his crate because he's almost one now and he's getting a little bit better, but we left him out. I left him out. I was gone for maybe 45 minutes and he chewed on the new coffee table. So I'm going to see if my dad has any of that stain so we can... Just go over that again, sand it down. Like he was drooling, he was chewing so hard on the coffee table. So someone has to stay in his crate, hey? Someone's a bad boy, that's bad. Hey guys, so I just got back from the mall. Well, actually I got back from the mall a little while ago. I just finished filming like the intro and outro for a couple more videos and every single time and I'm not refilling them. My hair is like all bun bunched up on this side. It looks like that, like that. It looks like crap. But I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up at the mall. So I got some more of our K-Cups from Tim Hortons. These are what we live off of. It's the only K-Cups that we use in our curing. So I got two of them. They do actually taste like Tim Hortons. And at Tim Hortons, they're 10 bucks for a box and you get 14 in them and you can buy them at like Loblaws too, but I think you only get 10 or 12 and they're like $14. So it's definitely worth it to go to um, an actual Tim Hortons. And then this is what I actually went to the mall for. So I went to American Eagle and just got a pair of their um, jeggings. This is the worst way to show you guys. Anyways, um, I just got a pair of black jeggings. So these ones are the ones, um, they're the American Eagle Outfitters Knit. So they actually feel like, like tights, like leggings, not like jeans. But they obviously have like the, um, like pockets on the back and all that kind of stuff. So they are, I'm not a huge fan of jeggings, um, but these are insanely comfortable and they're super, super, super stretchy. So they were 60 bucks though, um, which I think is kind of pricey. Yeah, they were $59.95 Canadian and then with tax, they ended up being like $67, but I needed a pair of black jeans for work. I got them. Hey guys, so it is Saturday and I did not vlog the last two days. I'm sorry. Um, Thursday I worked at an Irish pub for St. Patrick's Day and I worked like 12 hours. It was insanely busy, needless to say. Obviously it's an Irish pub. Then yesterday I woke up with this. So I don't know what this is, but I've had strep throat before and I'm kind of nervous that like that's what I have again. I just made some chicken noodle soup or chicken and rice actually. And I'm just going to sit down and watch Pretty Little Liars because I didn't get a chance to watch it on Tuesday. And I might do some laundry and stuff, but like I have a, I have, I definitely have a fever. Like <laughs> I'm freezing cold, but I'm really, really hot and I'm sweating. So hopefully I feel better tomorrow. I don't know if I'll vlog much more today to be completely honest. So this is going to be a really short weekly vlog, but I feel like crap.